right about now we are going to fashion okay mm -hmm. yes girl we have in store for you some really amazing details some yes. fun tips you probably didn't know about so yeah. let's do this let's do this yes. so the first thing today we're going to talk about body shapes do we know your body shape do you know how you to know. dress your body mm -hmm. how to accessorize your body today we're going to tell you all about that and we can see the first one is the apple shaped body as you can see all right if you have an apple shaped body it just means that your top part is heavy right that's bad. all right that's uh, all right. Okay. So we all have on the screen the pear shaped body. That's a pear shaped body. Yeah, um, all right. Or the so A shape. It's also called the A the shape. A shape. Yeah. Yes. So that means that you just basically have a wide, um, wide area around the hips mm -hmm. as compared to the upper, upper body. body. Yeah. Yes, yes. And we have today is the do's. You should not wear a boat line or a wide scoop neckline. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if we can explain that. Mm -hmm. It's basically what, almost what uh, my co-host is wearing. Like, a yeah. wide scope yes. Line, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so you should go for dresses that fit your shoulders and hips well that will help you to accentuate your body as well as make your your lower part a bit uh smaller yeah right you should wear darker shades of garments that will make your lower body look slimmer mm -hmm. yeah you, you should, should wear, wear the a-line dresses all right yeah don't buy a flare dress yeah you know yeah so we go to the don'ts do not wear a pastel color. Those are the lighter shades. Oh, Always right. accessorize with darker shades, darker, shades, darker, darker, darker colors. Shades. Yeah, mm -hmm. the darker the better. Mm -hmm. uh, do not wear dresses that will have a wide, that have wide horizontal stripes at the bottom, mm -hmm. especially for the maxi dresses. Right. right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, also avoid pe peplum dresses. This will make you look wider on the hips. That's already very remember, true. you're already wide. Yeah, no, already wide. Mm. So you, the more you exaggerate, you know, the bigger <laughs> you look. Yeah. Okay. And also, do not wear over flared, stiff dresses. Okay. Yeah. So those are some do's and don'ts for you. And if you have a pear-shaped body, you can just look up um, some of those things that we are are instructing you or mm -hmm. telling you. Mm -hmm. All right. So the next one we are going to is the rectangular body shape actually I think before we even go to the rectangular we should mm. also because we had mentioned the apple shape body we just tell them you know the do's mm. and don'ts okay. Okay. Yeah. okay so for the apple shape body this is just basically where your top part of your body is more uh wider yeah right it just means that you have a full bust or a broad broad shoulders yeah, white torso, white torso yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah and uh yeah, you, the apple shape body tend to have thinner arms. Mm -hmm. They have thinner legs, legs and, and hips, hips, and tend to gain weight on around their, their waistline. Lines. So, what do you not do when you have this kind of body? Mm -hmm. You avoid double-breasted jackets, bulky tops. You go for la uh, don't go for uh, you know you go for layered tops. Yes, or and the ranch tops mm -hmm. and the turnicks. And definitely avoid skinny jeans because. Your legs yeah. already, you know, slimmer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but um, yes, and also, pants. yeah, and also remember to wear clothes that draw attention away from your midsection. Mm -hmm. Remember, you already have an upper, mm -hmm. upper, upper body. You know, you have you have an upper body size mm -hmm. as compared to your lower body size. Mm -hmm. And uh, on, and on accessorizing, mm -hmm. it's rather you uh, tie your belt just below your bust and not on your waistline. Yeah. Yes, if you have this type of body body shape right? yeah with that actually it, it actually minimizes uh it actually when you wear the the belt and your bust instead mm -hmm. of at your waist mm -hmm. this will create curves mm -hmm. and minimize your waist yeah because if you wear here your belt will be already uh, bulged out yeah so if you wear at least you know we'll see a, mm -hmm. a curve mm -hmm. you know forming mm -hmm. up and right now we have the rectangular body shape mm -hmm. uh, this is where uh, your silhouette is fairly straight up and down as you can see on the photo that is the rectangular shape. Yeah, oh, yeah it, it, it's, it's, it's really nice. It's, I mean, it's just fine. You just look fine. Yeah. It's, it, all shapes are fine. All shapes are beautiful. All of you just beautiful. have to accessorize well and wear your body. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so if you don't have, okay, so you wear tops that end on the midsection of the hips, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That enhances your shoulders and bust line with ruffled or ple pleated tops yeah. and choose accessories that add volume to your upper, upper part. part. Yeah. yeah. So I will to see if you don't have natural curves, mm. you can use clothes and accessories to create them. You can wear a belt on the narrowest part of your waist mm. to accentuate it. Interesting. Choose empire wow. waist 
and wrap dresses. Mm. Wrap dresses are the ones which actually already mm. tight mm. around the waist. Mm -hmm. So it actually gives you know that at least you know mm. forms the shape. Yeah, like as you can see, as you can see on the screen. Yeah, yeah, very very beautiful. So you see the uh, the upper part has ruffles. Yeah. yeah. So it and then at the waist, it's it also has it's plain. It's so plain. You can see the, so the, you can the see there's a shape coming up there, and mm. then below there's ruffles as well, giving it the body a uh, a sense of. Shape. I said, yeah, right. A, a very, a very yeah. beautiful curve. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. As you can see, ah, on your beautiful. Very, see, very stylish. As you can see, the upper part, you have to, you know, put enhance your shoulders in bust line. Mm -hmm. As she, you see, we are enhancing the shoulders more yeah. than the and the waistline as well. Mm -hmm. Very, nice. very beautiful. Very. Nice. You can even see uh, nice. the prints on those dresses. Mm. Just exactly give you a very nice yeah. curve so this this body type is also very good with colors mm -hmm. as you can see yeah right so the next shape is the hourglass shape this is the shape where your body is categorized with uh, okay uh, very few women fall in this shape it's l less than five percent yeah less than five percent they fall in this shape but you have perfect proportions between your upper, upper body, body part and, and your lower body part and your your waist is very very very, very yeah defined. i think i think when you're growing up used to call it the 36 20 36 dimensions <laughs> wow. where your bust line is 36 your waist is oh 28 yeah. and your hip size is 36. Right. so it's the perfect hour glass it's a perfect hour it's a glass, perfect hour glass. oh wow yeah. Hmm. Okay, so uh, you highlight your calves, of course. Of course, you have to, and this is essential for the people. Yes, so yes. it will draw attention to your waist. Mm -hmm. The people with this body type are told to avoid body baggy clothes. Uh, yeah, baggy, baggy clothes. clothes. Avoid, avoid. That's a no, mm. no. As you can see on the photo, mm. she has the perfect hourglass. She has a mm. beautiful hourglass figure. Mm -hmm. So you avoid baggy clothes. It yeah. will just look this is big yeah. from head to toe. Yeah, because we want to accentuate your waistline. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So wear undergarments that fit correctly, and if you are uh, have a big bust, mm -hmm. make sure you have the right kind of bra. And I think that's the most uh, that's the mistake that almost every single lady yeah. makes, mm. no matter what body shape you no are. The what? wrong bra just mm. doesn't work out for you mm -hmm. at all. Yeah. So if you see, um, uh, just to highlight on your point, if yes. you have a, if you have, if your bust is larger, mm -hmm. be sure to use the right kind of bra. Mm -hmm. Avoid using padded cups or unstructured bras that yeah. make your cleavage look droopy. Mm -hmm. And actually, we see almost everyone, the young girls, we are all rushing to go for the padded bras. Mm -hmm. Why is that? I have no idea. Yeah. You tell me. <laughs> you tell me. Tell me. Viewer, tell me. Why? why? <laughs> This is Focus TV, straight to the point.